hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are continuing our php blog and now guys as we seen in previous video that we have done about fetching the category and now guys in this video we'll be editing and updating the data in our database using php mysql so guys now let's get started so let's move to this table design where on this edit button okay so here we are guys category view and this is our edit button now let's create a file with the name category edit.php and with that i want to pass a parameter with the name id where the id will be the categories fetched id okay so let's pass that over here let's save and now guys let us test it so once refresh let's click on one and you can see that id number one it has come perfect so now let's try with the second you can see that id has two has come so now guys let's create the file with the name category edit.php to edit the data. So let's create a new file inside admin folder. Category edit. And now guys, we need the form. So for the form purpose, guys, you can just copy from your add category form. We have already designed this, right? So let us use this form for editing purpose also. Okay. So yep, let's move to category add. Control A. Control C, copy and paste. Control V, all set. Let's change the heading, edit category, and when we are going to back, you should move on view category. Save, refresh, and now guys, let's click on edit. So you can see edit category. When you click back, it's going to view. Perfect. So now guys, let's write the code to fetch the data inside our input fields. So let's move on this form before this form starts. We will start the code guys over here. So open PHP and close PHP where start with the query. So this is the category edit. So let's type category edit is equal to. Let me keep this small letter and yes guys. So over here select star from star means all the input field of your I mean database fields so my table name let's copy the table name that is the categories guys paste where give a condition I want the input ID so dollar ID so what ID it is category underscore ID so let's get this ID from where from your get method so let us paste this dollar underscore get method of id so what is this id is nothing but your parameter data over here this id so guys what in case of if this id is not available that time it will throw an error so for that case guys you can just use a if condition so let us use this if condition where you can check if it is available only then only execute the queries okay so if it is set means you are going to run the code else you can skip it now guys let's execute this query so query i mean category run with the help of mysql query function so first will be a database connection and then your query guys so this is the category query all set and now let's check if the data is available or not inside this query you can check using mysql number of rows number of rows function if it is greater than zero then you are going to tell yes record is available if it is not available you can show that as mm, let's divide this php within h4 tag no record found you can tell all set and now guys inside this if condition you have a single data inside this you can give one limit also over here limit one only i should send and here let's create a dollar row variable where with the help of mysql i fetch array okay we want a single row data so you can just run this query executed query all set 
and now guys let's divide this open and close so now inside this guys you are going to paste your form so this form so instead of pasting that let us cut your code and paste after this form all set yep let me just minimize this sidebar and now guys you are going to take this dollar row and paste inside your input field is equal to where open php php is equal to close php where now dollar row of your input field name that is name okay so this name is nothing but your database table column field name okay name slug description you are going to fetch those data inside your input fields so now guys let us test this whether this data has come or not now refresh perfect so we have got the data first id is html we have got the output so same way you are going to call all the input field names so let us copy and paste this will be your slug and for text area this is a text area so over here we don't give a value attribute we have to directly paste over here okay so that is your description field where now let's see the output refresh perfect so let's fetch the seo tags also so next value was it's an input field you can just paste here and take meta title and other two fields are your text area let's paste and change the column field name meta keyword and then guys it's an input box so you have to give a condition over here let me just copy this and paste so you can give this navbar status i'm copying this because my input field names are same as our table column field name okay so that's why i'm copying from there itself if it is double equal to 1 if the data is 1 you are going to use ternary operator and tell if it is one means you are going to tell checked okay so it will be defaultly checked and if it is zero means it will leave as null guys so same condition with the status also so you can just update that status if it is equal to one it should be checked else null now save guys and let's change the button name update category and instead of category add let's give category update all set and now guys we have to get the id also so for that case let's take an input field where for testing purpose we will not hide the input field is equal to where dollar row of id okay all set and now let's see the output guys refresh perfect so we have got all the datas and here is the id so let's hide this input field now guys h i d d e n hidden done refresh hidden guys now let's click to update the record let's get back okay so when i click this category update button i go to form to code.php with the method post by taking all the input field data guys so let's move to code.php okay all set now guys let's start the code with the if condition where is set function where dollar underscore post method of your category update button done let me just move this down so guys you need to get all the input fields name that is your name slug description your meta title description status okay so all that fields so we have already done in while adding the categories guys and this is the updating so let me just copy all the field name from the category add so yep this all are nothing but you are just we are taking from the category input fields and pasting here in a variable that's it guys with the method post now guys let's write the query to update all the records so you can 
capital query is equal to double quotes so yep let's start the update query update your table name my table name is categories let's take this update the table name where we are going to set for each fields so f name sorry it's name is equal to inside single quotes you are going to tell dollar name okay so this is one field like this is your column field name slug description meta title so you have to select for each name and update it guys so next was slug is equal to inside single quotes that is your dollar slug variable this slug variable okay then next is your meta i mean description description is equal to inside single quotes you are going to give dollar description then your meta title t i t l e is equal to dollar meta title all set so same way guys you have to call all the input field so let me just finish it all set after this last record guys you are not going to give comma so please don't give comma over here or else you'll face an error so now let's use where condition is equal to inside single quotes use dollar id so what id you are going to use that is nothing but your category id so let's copy this and get that id is equal to underscore post method so from where are you getting this category id you will get from your category edit page while submitting the form here let's name this as category underscore id let's copy this and move to code.php and paste it guys done so this variable will have your id and you can get from here and update the record so done guys and now let's update this query so i mean execute this query query underscore run or you can create your own method so let's run this query with the help of mysql query function where your database connection come first and then your query guys all set and now let's see if the query is executed then we'll show the condition it is updated or something went wrong so let me just copy from below so we'll save the time let's paste so guys if this query is successful you will show that category updated successfully if it not then you will tell something went wrong and you are going back to which page i want to go back when you are not updated so let's move to this page only guys okay you can show the message on this page itself not updated so for that let's paste here the field name okay and here you are following with the id so instead of this you can just take your category id let's copy this and send here i mean just concatenate it and paste it set done guys and now let's check the output but to show the message you need to add the message over here so before the card you can paste this include message.php as you know from starting we are following that we have set the code over here okay all set guys and now let's get back yep let's directly click update you can see category updated successfully and the id is not found over here okay it did not redirect with the id let's check out why let's go to code.php and okay the code is correct i think it did not read it so let's refresh once again and let's update so html update i will give let's click update category perfect category updated successfully and it has gone to one id that that time it did not come because we have renamed that right input field but we did not refresh so that was a catch error guys and now where we'll give here update now update so you can see that category updated successfully perfect guys so we have successfully done with the category update part and now guys let's see next video how can you delete this category so we will not be deleting it instead we are going to set some status value because if you delete this your post might affect right 
so in that case we will not be using delete option instead we will be using something else over here so let's continue next video guys so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share